Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing two concealers. This video was requested. I did get a message asking me to compare these two concealers. Personally, I don't think they are similar in formula. The LA Girl is a little bit more hydrating, whereas the Makeup Revolution is a little bit more matte. However, color wise, um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer is of course very popular. So a lot of people tend to have it and they will know kind of what shade to go for in the Makeup Revolution one if they know what it's similar to. So the idea behind this video is of course to give you guys similar colors to let you know round about what shade to go for however this video is not for all skin tones because I don't have conceal LA Girl Pro concealers for all skin tones I only have like medium medium dark and dark but I also do compare it swatches wise to a couple other concealers like my MAC Pro Longwear my NYX where is it yeah my NYX HD concealer so I just compared it just so you guys can get a gauge of shade and shade selection what to go for so if that is something you're interested in see and then definitely keep on watching okay girlies let's just go ahead and jump straight into this so i'm gonna be comparing the makeup revolution c12 with the uh la girl pro concealer in cool tan now this used to be my holy grail before i found this concealer so i'm gonna compare it plus this was a requested video from one of you guys to see what the shades compare like so let's just go ahead and apply i'm gonna start with makeup rev on this side i think this c12 shade is almost finished because the thing's not coming out with as much product but i have a backup don't worry so I'm just gonna start by drawing like a triangle underneath my eyes. Now this is not about the formulation of both concealers, it is literally to help you decide on the colour. So I'm just gonna quickly clean up this wing never done that before <laughs> but it works out pretty good okay so here we have the shade c12 by makeup revolution by itself now i do usually mix it with a drop of c13 just to make it slightly deeper now i'm gonna go in with la girl cool tan and apply this on this side i'm just gonna quickly clean up this wing as well i need to get really close to the camera for this so one sec Okay, so here we are with both colours. Now, there's not that much of a difference. I mean, I can get by with both of them. I feel like this is the shade that I get when I mix C12 and C13 together. So this is C12 and then this is C13. So if I mix these two shades together, I, it does come out as this shade. But yeah, that is the shade difference between my old Holy Grail and my new Holy Grail. But yeah, let me go ahead and blend this out quickly because the Makeup Revolution side does dry pretty fast. So I'm going to start with the Makeup Revolution side since it does dry faster that is another thing i don't believe the la girl side dries down whereas the makeup revolution one does i did say they're not a comparison of formula because in my opinion they are two completely different formulas i feel like the um la girl one is a little bit more hydrating the makeup revolution one is definitely matte it is a matte concealer so it's good for like oily skin like mine that's why it's my new holy grail this shade c12 is not bad by itself you know i didn't use it by itself so far because i just thought it would be way too dark i mean way too light for me so i've always mixed it but looking at it now by itself it doesn't look too bad by by itself so i'm going to flip my sponge and now blend the la girl side and even though i left that makeup revolution side to dry a little bit longer than usual it still blended really well a little bit trickier but really well I think it also has a little bit more coverage than the LA Girl side as well. I mean, LA Girl is really, really good coverage for £3.99. So they're basically the same price concealer. They're both four quid. I guess it just depends on what finish you're looking for. Like I said, Makeup Reb is a bit more matte, whereas the LA Girl is a bit more hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, I suppose I would say go with the LA Girl one. But if you have like really oily skin, the Makeup Rev side is really good. So even though I said it's not about formula, I sat here and compared the formula. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is both concealers applied. Like once they're blended out, you really can't tell the difference in shade now that I'm looking at it because they're actually matching like perfectly right now. It looks like I have the same concealer on both sides. They are both creasing as you can see underneath my eyes, but that's because I haven't set it. So of course I expect creasing. But yeah guys, overall, they look really, really similar on my skin. The only difference, of course, one more time, the LA Girl is a little bit more hydrated under there. I can see a little bit of dewiness, a little bit of shine, whereas the Makeup Rev side is like semi matte almost matte so i'm gonna go off camera quickly complete the rest of my face and then i'll come back so we can compare the other la girl shades with the other makeup revolution shades and hopefully it will help you guys out okay guys so my face is now complete let's begin swatching so i'm gonna start by swatching the makeup revolution shades so here we have c12 this is running out by the way and then here we have c13 i'll do c13 there 
Now let's do LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Tan. So this is Cool Tan. So next we have the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Tan. And I will swatch that here. So it is very similar, a little bit deeper than the LA Girl and the Makeup Revolution. Now I'm gonna take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35. Okay, so that is NC35. I will just swatch. There we go. There we have NC35, very light. <laughs> so let me try find a shade to compare to the MAC NC35. So here we have C11 from Makeup Revolution. No, that's a little bit more pinky than the MAC. Now we have C10 from Makeup Revolution. A little bit more similar to NC35. So NC35 and then this is the Makeup Revolution C10. Then we have Makeup Rev C9. So that is very pink toned. So I would say the closest to NC35 is definitely C10. Now let's go ahead and swatch MAC Pro Longwear in the shade NW35. So there we have NW35. It is definitely pink undertoned and it is very similar to C... What was this? 11, very similar to C11 from um, Makeup Revolution. So just to run through one more time, Makeup Revolution C13, C12, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan. Um, this has oxidized a lot. That is the NYX uh, concealer in tan. Then we have MAC NC35, then we have C11, then we have C10 by Makeup Revolution, then we have C9 by Makeup Revolution, and last but not least, we have NW35 from MAC. Of course, guys, I wish I could help all of you pick your shade, but I can only swatch what I have, you know, in my house. So that was just a range of concealers that I do have to compare to the Makeup Revolution ones. Now I'm strictly going to swatch LA Girl Pro Concealer. Okay, so here we have LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Bisque. Let's try C9. No, C9's way too light. Let's try C10. C10's quite of a yellow undertone. Let's do C11. Okay, we're just getting deeper. But I definitely think that's the closest one. I, I don't know whose skin tone this is actually, LA Girl. That is very pinky. Now we're going in with the shade Pure Beige from LA Girl, which looks like this. So that is Pure Beige from LA Girl. It's like a really light skin tone with a yellow undertone. So this is C10. And this is the closest to LA Girl Pure Beige. Now we're going in with LA Girl Medium Beige. Okay, so there we have Medium Beige. If anything, I think C10 is exactly the same as Medium Beige from LA Girl. I hope you guys are still with me and not getting confused here because I'm getting a little bit confused myself. Next, we have the shade Warm Honey from LA Girl, which does also work for my skin tone sometimes. Um, so that is it. It's almost got like an orangey undertone to it. I think the closest to Warm Honey would probably be my shade, which is C13. Oh, that's a little bit deeper. Let's do C12. Yeah, C12 is really close to Warm Beige from LA Girl. And here we have a swatch of Chestnut. And then from Makeup Revolution, I'm gonna swatch C14, which is more cool toned. Then we have C15, which is even deeper. I think the closest one to chestnut would probably be C13. Yeah, C13 is the closest to chestnut. And then last but not least, we have Dark Cocoa from um, LA Girl. And this is the darkest concealer that I have from LA Girl. I'm not quite sure if they do deeper ones, but this is the darkest one that I have. So this is Dark Cocoa. So as you can see, Makeup Rev has already gone deeper by doing shade 15 and Makeup Rev goes up to shade 18. So here we have C16 from Makeup Rev and then here we have C18, the darkest shade from Makeup Revolution. So in the LA Girl Pro Concealers, if you are the shade Chestnut, I would recommend going with shade 13, um, probably grabbing shade 14 as well and mixing them. They would probably work gorgeous for you. And then if you do wear Dark Cocoa in LA Girl Pro Concealer, I would definitely try to say go with 15 or maybe even 16. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you have found it helpful. Thank you so much to whoever requested this video. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.